Now, despite facing flak from the opposition, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has doubled down on his criticism of the Congress manifesto. Addressing a rally in Rajasthan, the Prime Minister, for a third day running, claimed property, assets, gold and the Mangal Sutra will be snatched and given to Muslims if the Grand Old Party is voted to power. Now, the Prime Minister also said that the Congress will snatch away the rights of SCs, STs, OBCs and provide reservation to Muslims, citing the 2006 22nd clip of the then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, who said minorities, especially Muslims, have the first right to our resources. Now, the Congress party has already approached the Election Commission, demanding action against the Prime Minister over what they call hate speech. And beyond this, there have also been, there's also been a letter that's been written to the Election Commission where over 17,000 citizens of the country have pleaded to the Election Commission to take action against this. But interestingly, and one thing that has been sparking a bit of a row is the fact that the Election Commission has declined to comment on this entire matter. Congress Party ne Sambidhan ke saath Baba Sahib Ambed karke diye huye Sambidhan ke saath किस प्रकार से खिलवाड़ करने की कोशिश की इस देश की मैं जब संविधान बना तब धर्म के आधार पर आरक्षण का गोर विरोध हुआ था ताकि हमारे एससी एसटी ओबीसी समुदाय को सुरक्षा मिलती रहे लेकिन उन्होंने मनमोहन सिंह जी ने भाषण किया था और उस सभा में मैं मौजूद था मुख्यमंत्री के नाते मुस्लिमों का देश के संसाधनों पर पहला हक है ये मनमोहन जी का बयान है कांग्रेस पार्टी की सोच हमेशा से तुष्टिकरण की रही है वोट बैंक की राजनीति की रही है by the Prime Minister over the last few days. We're crossing over to my colleague Gajraj now. Gajraj, I want to ask you one particular thing. The Election Commission in the past few days has said that they have declined, they have actually declined to comment on this matter of hate speech. Has the Election Commission ever taken a stance like this before? See, Election Commission has been, you know, uh, referring to because, uh, you know, whenever the election campaigns are going on, there are a lot of spe uh, speeches that come uh, comes under the you know, radar of... Uh, the election commission and this is one of the uh, speech and uh, highlighted by the you know opposition party to the election commission and this is not the only uh, speech by prime minister uh, opposition has been highlighting several issues when they talk about independent candidates when they talk about party uh, you know campaigning styles uh, election commission has been flagging of a lot of issues uh, uh, to the election commission and uh, now this has come uh, you know again as a you know uh, another complaint to the election commission because you know congress senior leadership uh, right after the PM, uh, uh, you know, addressed his gathering. Uh, this was in talks of Madhupur and uh, before this, uh, the, you know, uh, he said something on the same lines in Banswara as well. So the issues has be, have been, you know, uh, you know, being flagged by the opposition and, uh, you know, uh, taken into consideration by the election, election commission. But the opposition is also, you know, slamming the commission over, you know, inaction. So right now, uh, this, the, uh, this can be, you know, said to be the first time the election commission is taking such a stand and denying to comment on anything like this studio.